Yeti and I have quite a few viewers asking us where you got your Samoyed. Well, on today's episode, we're going to talk about tips and tricks for buying a Samoyed, where to locate one, and how to go ahead and get a Samoyed if it's the right fit for you. Up next on Yeti's Place. If you're new here, welcome you guys. We really do appreciate it. Please be sure to subscribe, click that bell notification, and check out our links down below. So Sammy Eds are working dogs with a ton of energy. They are extremely intelligent dogs who don't like to listen to people. Now I know you guys are sitting there thinking, well, what, what in the world, what do you mean by that? A Sammy Ed is not the type of dog to sit, stay, and not eat anything in your house all day. As a potential Sammy Ed owner, you need to recognize that, and you need to know what to do to avoid that from happening, which is you must exercise them. You must play with them a lot. And exercise, I mean walking a few miles a day, multiple times a day. Once you understand that, and you realize that, okay, I can I can live with a Sammy Ed in my house because they are inside dogs who love to cuddle with their family members, all the time. This is the dog for me. I can deal with all the fur getting caught in my vents all the time. I can deal with the constant energy. I can I can deal with their their super intelligence with not wanting to listen to me. I can deal with that. Then you want to know how to find a Samoyed. So the place where I got Yeti, I got him from a reputable breeder who has been breeding Samoyeds for about 50 years. They only have a few litters annually and they want to get to know their potential owners. How did I meet Yeti's breeder. I did a lot of research, a lot of combination of both online research as well as researching through the Sammy Ed Club of America. I live in the United States, so the Sammy Ed Club of America is a great, great resource. It's available online. It's also available in a magazine format. This is the Sammy Ed Club of America magazine. Inside are articles written about Sammy Eds. Yes, you like this book, don't you? And their color photos as well as black and white photos. It's a fantastic resource. It has stories in here about Sammy Eds. That's how I found out a lot of information regarding Sammy Eds, is by reading this book. They do list information on dog shows, agility shows. You can locate a breeder that would be a good fit for you. You can talk to other Sammy Ed owners, but I don't know any Sammy Ed owners. Well, I'm on YouTube here to help educate potential Sammy Ed owners as well as those who own Sammy Eds. Now, if you don't live in the United States, you can certainly Google search Sammy Eds and find out if there's a Sammy Ed club of your country. But now, what do you do about the cost? Sammy Eds are a bit more pricey. They're not as common as, say for example, a Golden Retriever. So their cost may be a bit more, especially if you get a Sammy Ed from a reputable breeder whose parents might be champions or grand champions. Yeti's dad is an international champion. He was brought back to the United States a few months before Yeti was born. Yeti's dad was sent by Yeti's breeder to Europe to win multiple dog shows. His list of dog show wins was impressive. It was two full pages listing all the dog shows he had competed in and, and his rank and what he won. I was super, super impressed. So where else do I find a Samoyed? You can link up with other Samoyed owners through social media. You can talk to them, build a relationship with them. There's a, a good resource on Facebook, Samoyed Owners resource, but on there they have a lot of, of other Samoyed owners who like to talk a lot about their Samoyeds because this breed is so special. So you can always check with your local dog shelter. You can do a Google search for Samoyed shelters because these dogs are lovable dogs and they just want to go to a good family who will love them back. You can always adopt a Sammy Ed from a shelter because they're going to be such wonderful dogs. Chances are that they're going to be adult dogs in the dog shelters and that's okay because a Sammy Ed as an adult is such a lovely dog. The Getty is three years old and he's slobbered all over me. If you located a Sammy Ed at a shelter, you can always ask the shelter, well, can I have him at my house for a day or perhaps over the weekend to see if, if he'd be a good fit for me? Maybe a dog shelter might be able to do that for you. Otherwise, you can, can spend time with other Sammy Ed owners to see if they'd be a good fit for you. With Sammy Eds, it's important to do a lot of research to find out if this is a good fit for you and if this is the dog that you really want because they are work. They can cause damage to a house, either with their teeth, 
or by all the fur that is shed off of them. They can cause damage to your heating and cooling system by getting their fur into the vents because their fur is everywhere throughout a house. But once you know that they're a great fit for you, they're the perfect fit for you in your life. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe. Welcome back to all of our Yetables. Check out our links down below. Click that bell notification so you'll be notified of any new releases. And thanks so much to all of you for watching our video. You guys have a great day.